Okay, so now let's take a look at a uh, example inside of Solid Edge. So let's go into here. Here I have a same dump truck, and here I've got a cab part, and it's been obsoleted. This one's been released, and if I take a look at the entire structure, you can see it's gone through an A, B, C, C release, and that's where it is right now. It's kind of gone through a couple of different changes throughout the throughout its little cycle here, as we've been revising it all, and this is the current iteration of it. And if I wanted to revise this inside of Solid Edge, pretty simple to do. I mean, I got the same tools that I did over there in, uh, inside the uh, inside the uh, the other application, the Team Center application. So in this case here, this part hasn't been used in any assembly. Um, I could search for any you know, drawing that it was used on, but if I wanted to revise it. I simply just select the, I got a revision button and it would do the same thing. It would prep it up for the next revision level. I would let Solid Edge and Team Center do its thing and it would automatically give me the different revision level. Now there's certain rules that we could apply to where it won't, won't allow me to release something unless some of the prior revision was already released. But with a simple click, the management and everything is done for me inside of inside of team center so if we go and look there's my new rev b or new rev d with my rev c still intact and of course like i said if there were any text documents too any other file that you know may uh you know may be associated with it it automatically gets uh, transfer it over so you're not only just dealing with the solid edge part but with the actual uh, say a non-cad data set maybe maybe uh, attached to this so revi revising things inside of the CAD program is pretty pretty seamless and again it categorizes and sorts everything for you so I don't have to make a new file folder make sure that I put the right uh, suffix on it you know the, the numbering and everything is taken care of by by team center and it's automatically, you know, sorted everything for me. Okay, and with, you know, with that, the same can apply for non-CAD data sets. So for non, say, say, document uh, types or documents here, we have a, you know, say, an issue report that has been, uh, been released. And so we need to make some changes to this. You know, say we need to go ahead and, Add it to change or create a new one or amend this particular this particular document, and you can see right now it's it's practically read only because it does have a status on it. So kind of the same thing I would do inside of CAD, but Team Center has its own uh, mechanisms for it. So here I would just simply go revise, and I could add uh, some descriptions, you know, why it's being changed or new doc needed and everything, and I could cycle through the wizard, of course. And here it's going to tell me it's going to make a new, my deep copy rules. And I would just tell Team Center, yeah, okay, go ahead and follow those rules. Give me a new rev level. And Team Center takes care of the rest. There we go. And Team Center goes ahead and builds the new one out for me. And again, I could begin using this one too. So again, my, my item that contains two revisions. So I got an A and a B, and my B revision down here, I would go ahead and start opening this one up. I could go in there and make changes to it. You know, whether it be over here inside of the inside of the embedded viewer, because it automatically checks it out, but I could also double click it. So this particular case, you know, if we wanted to go ahead and make a change, we could also keep a revision track down here for us as well, if needed. You know, we could call this rev rev uh, but nevertheless it's you know you can make changes to the brand new document while team center tracks all those and maintains all that data for you so multiple different ways it's a lot easier within especially when using a managed environment um, it makes 
I'll keep in track of all these documents and uh, especially revisions because there's no manual process. I mean, I don't have to keep track of the A, B's and C's like I said earlier. We're trying to figure out where these files are located or what am I dealing with when I find this part or document, you know, if I'm dealing with the latest and greatest, you know, Team Center is automatically tracking and keeping all that data together for you. So uh, that's just one example. You know, there's a lot of different other powerful tools inside of Team Center that we could take a look at. But it's a quick little review on how revisioning works inside of Team Center in a managed environment. Rising.